Right, we're on the, up the Meander River. I'm starting the session off today, guys, with a brand new Akuma Akuma reel. It's the ITX CB1000, this little fella. And it's, yeah, it's just coming out on the market. It's a beautiful light, little lightweight setup. And beautiful. Yeah, love it. So I'm um, going, going to give it a workout today in the, in the Meander River on the trail. We've got a brand new uh, TT Red Belly Rod to go with a 7 footer, ultra light spin. Um, I'm spooled up a Platypus uh, Super 100 today on this one, the ultra, ultra high tensile, very thin, ultra thin, 6 pounder. And yep, a brand new uh, MEPS Aglia Fluoro Brown inline spinner. So we'll see how we go and I'm sure we'll do some good with it. Alright, I'm in the river. It, um, Got a few casts around here, a uh, fair bit of water pumping down, I think they've raised the water level. It was running to run at 62 yesterday, you know, he, uh, going by the chart, but this, uh, this morning I looked at home, it was going to be it was running at 69 and still on the rise, so hopefully they don't go past 70, 70 centimetres with it. We'll see how we go right, anyway. on our first brown here. Nothing big. There it is. Out there. I'm just running straight up onto the bank, I think. Nice fat little fish, too. Come on, Bill Bub. Lovely little one. There he is. Look at that. Good start. First time I've fished up here this season. And, uh, yeah, we're into what February. And he was just taking a cast it over that uh, rock wall and just drift the lure back with that fast fly and he just smashed it. So, yeah, nice little, solid little fish. Get him off and send him home. Oh, right, look at the colours in that, beautiful. How good to go. Thank you. Lovely. And so that's the start of something good. Yeah, there's a fair bit of water pushing down here. I've had a couple of other follows, but no, no takers so far. But, uh, there's some good water ahead. Just got to watch my footing going through here. This right hand side along here used to always fish well. So, anyway, we'll see how we go. Anyway, so, first cast, that <laughs> little nose did hit the water. This fish just snapped it up. Nothing big, he's tied himself up in a knot with it, so I'll get him straight in the net and uh, yeah, send him home. He was just taking straight up the off it. Uh, Right hand side next to that river bank. Oh, good to go. There you go, buddy. Off you go. There you go. That's not a good sign on these rocks here. For that white on there. Cormorants. And they're right up in here, too. I'm surprised they even caught a fish today, seeing that, seeing that all over the rocks here. Mm. I had a little bit of scrub to get through through there once I get out in the river. I just make my way through here. But, uh, my sandy patch here. I have to keep your eye open. There's, there's a couple of bulls in here. It's supposed to be bloody fingers open here on a bush. Anyway, we'll keep plodding along and get, get to where we can get down to the river oh, again. Right. Another nice little medium sized brown trout here. It's cast straight up. Where that bright water is there and water down this side of it and it's, it's come and snapped up the aglia brown fluo. Yeah, so he's just hooking that top jaw. Anyway, yeah, we'll get him in the net. And just send him home. Beautiful. Well, get him in the net right. I just got him in this to lure so straight out of his mouth into the side of the net. And, uh, well, that's easy done, I'll just tip him out. Straight out. On your way, Buster. Thank you. Lovely. I tell you what, I can't fault this little uh, Akuma ITX CB reel. It's absolutely beautiful. Runs smooth, real smooth action. Love it. And it's, uh, yeah, it's done really well. And the red belly rod, the seven footer, she's literally bending that where she's hooked up there. <laughs> That's what it was like when it gets a decent fish on, but easy, lightweight, strong, beautiful. Can't better them. And there's some rough water ahead of me to fish up there, I can tell you. 
Yeah, right, she's rugged coming up through here. Some water built in down there. And, uh, not easy getting up and <laughs> over these bloody rocks either. So I hope you so far it's been worth it. Uh, just, uh, not, not big trout, but three three nice trout, two nice medium ones. And, yeah. Uh, it's been worth it so far. It's a beautiful place up here. That's really beautiful. Oh, that was made up to there. Now just crossing back across the river here. There's a right hand side up there is the deep side of the river, so I have to stay to the left. I get across here, there's a nice little flat run of water along that river bank, maybe get something in there, but then other than that I'll be working that whole river from side to side. And then from there on up above that is all fast water again. Hope to see how the body holds up and see how long I can put up with it. Come right up through all that river there. I've had one follow from a decent sized trout. I gave a little hard body a go after that, but never even saw a trout. I've gone back to the to the uh, Aglia brown, fluo brown bug. And uh, started working myself back into this faster flow of water up here. So I might even go March brown soon, or even put a, a copper, copper Aglia moose noir on. Some of that will um, bring them to life if they're in around the place. Pretty disappointing though. Right, now the fun begins again. <laughs> we make our way up through here. I might give it a, what's it now? 10 past 10, I think I might give it a 10.30. If I don't get another fish up, if I'm fishing up through here, that's it, I think I'll probably be busting your guts out. And uh, they're just not here. I thought I was in for a real good day too, I got those three earlier. That's, a, hey, that's trout fishing. Oh, here we go. Just put a copper of raglia mooch noir on. That did the trick, just cast out into that to the centre of the river and let it drift and it slowly retrieved it and just got really smashed it. So there we go. Finally. It's taken a while, but we've got one. I might even trust it yet, I know he's just hooked in that jaw. Anyway, we'll just get him in that net. Uh, yeah, nothing big. It's a, they all add up, they don't know. That's still legal sized fish, really. And it's probably about uh, 10 inches long. Yeah, anyway, I'll unhook him and send him home. They're good to go. Very nice little fish. There you go. Thank you. Lovely. Ah, yes, that's a little. So I put a Black Fury sticker on the end of it, so <laughs> I had a few there, so I always do that on plain, plain blades. Sometimes I just stick that on it. Oh, well, a few nice little flat spots up through here. Yeah, I still might pick up another one or two if I'm lucky. I just took the rock on that little flat water there. Oh, yeah. There's only a short cast anyway, so I'll do a long one now. And, uh, and hopefully there will be one sitting at the top end of it. And nice water on that opposite side of the river to fish there too. So not much further to go now before I get out. And they're called a day. And covered a, covered a lot of water when you look back down there. Slipping and sliding and pushing me way up through there. It's been good though, I've enjoyed it. Always do. Okay, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just took one in already. Oh, Pull it out, must be a decent sized fish. <laughs> I had him up when he darted around and crossed in front of me here and he was hooked in the back, halfway down. Yeah, and he, anyway, he just rolled and tossed it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was thinking he was a bloody fish of around 600 odd grams. Oh, there's a nice brownie. There he is. Just went on March Brown. Lovely fish. 
That's one. Nice fat little bugger. Oh, lovely. Lovely condition. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to get him down and put him in and get a couple of pics of him. Yeah, he's playing up with me. I've just got to look at him. He's just about ready to go. Oh, so, well, yeah, there's the tackle there. It's a beautiful setup. I'm very happy how it's gone today. That's trout number five. Um, well, they had, yeah, eight hookups for five landers so, and a couple of hits and misses, so it's been a pretty good session. And I've still got a little bit of water to go. And I had a bit of fun again with this new camera. <laughs> the record button's in a different spot than I'm used to with my other cat, little Canon camera. <laughs> I keep hitting some other button. <laughs> yeah, getting a bit messy at times. Anyway, we got there. And, uh, We'll continue on for a little bit longer, just up through here. No, it's cool good day. Day. Lovely gold colour too, everyone. Beautiful fish. Anyway, we'll just hold him in the water there for a tick. And make sure he's right. And... Yep, he's up. There he is, he'll be on that rock. He'll be right. Yep, good. Alright, we'll push on a bit more. Right, and that's just it. took and lost another one in the same, same area there then. Anyway. Mate, once he left two leaves from the river, that was enough for him to toss it. So oh, now the river, I'm just making my way back. The river's just back down there, I'm just heading. And we're going to head through this for about 100 or so metres. And uh, you know, we can hear those black yellow tail cockies squawking. That's where I got ahead. Because they'll be out in the open, a bit more open area where the big gum trees are. So, yeah, it won't be long and I'll be out of here. All going well. Yep, there's a clearing up ahead down there. Right, yeah. right back in the car. Yeah, I'm totally done. It's uh, yeah, 20 to 12 and uh, hot. Long walk back. But anyway, yeah, just a five trout caught. And in the end, I bloody hooked and lost another another seven all up in the end so yeah so 12 12 hookups and uh, about four or five other little hits and miss soft hits and misses and yeah just five land about it i was happy i was happy i was um, unsure where to fish today and i thought i gotta give this area i haven't fished all season ago and uh, and as it happened that you know i got three trout early and then it was a big lull and then bang once i got back up into that deeper in that fast water stuff and uh, there was a few more trout around so no it's good and the um, new Akuma ITX CB reel are uh, beautiful absolutely beautiful yeah never had any dramas with it the line held up well on it and, uh, and the TT rod well I can say about that it's beautiful ultra light spinning rod it's beautiful yeah very happy and uh, yeah of course the Mets lures they did the job again they so next one guys, tight lines.